But more Star Trek legacy characters appear in Starfleet Academy. Now that Star Trek, Starfleet Academy has revealed its regular cast of returning characters, it's interesting to ponder if other Star Trek legacy actors could cameo in the upcoming series. Due to start filming later in 2024, Starfleet Academy will tell the story of the legendary institution's first intake of students in over a century. Starfeed Academy's cast combines Hollywood stars like Holly Hunter and Paul Giamatti with up-and-coming actors and stars from both Star Trek Discovery and Star Trek Voyager. While the involvement of Star Trek Discovery characters like Lt. Sylvia Tilly, Mary Wiseman, was a foregone conclusion, the addition of Robert Picardo as Star Trek Voyager's holographic doctor was a big surprise. As a hologram, the USS Voyager's EMH can surely lives forever, as long as he's backed up, so it's maybe not wholly surprising that he's still aiding Starfeet after 800 years. However, the fact that the 32nd century's Starfeet Academy has Voyager's doctor on staff surely opens the door for not just other Discovery characters to cameo in the upcoming series, but older Star Trek legacy characters too. Will we see more non-Discovery legacy characters in Star Trek Starfeet Academy? It seems highly likely that Sonequa Martin-Green or Doug Jones could make guest appearances as Captain Burnham and Admiral Saru in Star Trek Starfleet Academy. But what about characters from other shows? Star Trek Discovery's spin-off series will be set 800 years after the late 24th-slash-early 25th century timeline in which shows like Star Trek Prodigy and Star Trek Lower Decks take place. This makes it highly unlikely that former Starfleet Academy staff like Chief O'Brien Cole Meany, or Nova Squadron designer Lt. Tom Paris, Robert Duncan McNeil, could appear in the new show in flesh and blood form. It's also likely that Star Trek Starfleet Academy will want to establish its young cast and new characters before resorting to nostalgic cameos. The primary focus of Starfleet Academy will, rightly, be on its young cast, meaning that showrunners Alex Kurtzman and Noga Landau will be keen not to overshadow them with nostalgic throwbacks. However, if Starfeet Academy performs well when it streams on Paramount Plus in either 2025 or 2026, thoughts may turn to who else could join Robert Picardo's doctor as a 24th century Starfeet representative, especially as Star Trek Prodigy and Star Trek Discovery have set up how legacy characters can return. How Star Trek legacy characters like Voyager's doctor could appear in Starfeet Academy if Star Trek Voyager's doctor can live forever then the same is surely true for Hologram Janeway, Kate Mulgrew, from Star Trek Prodigy. Therefore, Picardo's casting in Star Trek Starfeet Academy could set up a live-action appearance by Kate Mulgrew in later seasons. On top of that, hologram technology in the 32nd century appears to be incredibly advanced, as Star Trek Discovery Season 5 saw Dr. Hugh Culber, Wilson Cruz, testing a holographic replica of his abuela that was almost indistinguishable from the real thing, potential setting up legacy characters as holographic tutors. Star Trek Picard also allowed Data, Brent Spiner, and Admiral Jean-Luc Picard, Patrick Stewart, to transfer their consciousness into synthetic bodies. As long as the brain is still in functioning condition, it's surely theoretically possible for people to live forever in the Star Trek universe using Soong's golems. Finally, while Star Trek Enterprise's controversial finale isn't a great example of anything, it does introduce the idea that characters can interact with holographic recreations of historic Starfleet missions. Despite the 800-year problem, it appears that there are endless possibilities for blending the old with the new in Star Trek Starfleet Academy, setting up a truly unique show. The Star Trek universe is vast, spanning more than five decades of storytelling across multiple series, films, books, and other media. One of the most anticipated upcoming additions to this rich tapestry is Starfeed Academy, a new series set to explore the lives of cadets within the famed institution that has trained some of Starfeet's most distinguished officers. This series is a prime opportunity to bring back beloved characters from the extensive Star Trek legacy. But could we see more of these familiar faces in Starfeed Academy? The answer is a resounding yes, and there are several compelling reasons why it would make sense. 1. Legacy characters connect the old and new generations. One of the most powerful aspects of Star Trek has always been its intergenerational appeal. Over the years, Star Trek has consistently bridged gaps between different eras of the franchise by bringing legacy characters into new narratives. 
Starfeet Academy, with its focus on cadets and their development, offers a natural setting to feature characters who have experience, knowledge, and history within the universe. Legacy characters, especially those with a history in Starfeet, could be woven into the fabric of this new series as mentors, instructors, or even occasional visitors. Take, for example, characters like Admiral Catherine Janeway, Star Trek, Voyager, or Captain Jean-Luc Picard, Star Trek, The Next Generation. These characters have served in pivotal leadership roles within Starfeet, and their wisdom could be valuable to a new generation of cadets. Having them appear, even if only in cameo roles or as guest stars, would not only bring nostalgic value to longtime fans, but would also enrich the storyline of Starfeet Academy by providing continuity within the Star Trek universe. 2. Starfeet Academy, as a perfect setting for familiar faces, the Academy itself has a long history in Star Trek. Many legacy characters, from Kirk and Spock to Worf and Uhura, have spent time in its halls. Starfeet Academy is a natural stage for seeing characters who are either still active within Starfeet or retired officers who have taken on advisory or teaching roles. In Star Trek, Lower Decks for instance, we've already seen the presence of legacy characters like Riker, hinting at the ease with which they could return in other series. In a show centered on cadets, it makes perfect sense for seasoned veterans of the Star Trek universe to appear as instructors, visiting lecturers, or even guest speakers at prestigious Academy events. These legacy characters could be brought in to share their experiences, helping to shape the development of the next generation of Starfleet officers. The presence of these characters would also provide an excellent opportunity for the series to delve deeper into Star Trek lore, exploring how these figures have evolved in the years since their previous appearances. 3. Expanding story arcs for fan favorites, many beloved characters from the Star Trek franchise have had their stories left somewhat unresolved or open-ended. For instance, what happened to Captain Benjamin Sisko after his ascension at the end of Star Trek Deep Space Nine? Could we see Seven of Nine, Star Trek, Voyager, Star Trek, Picard, continue her journey within Starfeet after her transition from ex-Borg to Captain? Starfeet Academy offers the perfect platform to revisit these characters and expand upon their personal arcs in a meaningful way. Rather than simply relying on nostalgic cameos, the show could allow for genuine character development. By reintroducing legacy characters in a mentoring capacity or even as key figures guiding the cadets through their formative years, Starfeet Academy could provide fans with the closure they've been seeking for some characters while simultaneously exploring new facets of their personalities and backstories. Imagine a scenario where a retired Worf, the next generation, Deep Space Nine, takes on a role as a combat instructor teaching cadets about honor and discipline. Or perhaps Geordi LaForge, now a seasoned engineer, returns to the Academy to teach courses on starship mechanics and exploration technologies. These characters, who have already grown and evolved over multiple series, could pass on their knowledge and experience in ways that are both meaningful and entertaining. 4. Opportunity for crossovers and expanded universe connections Another reason why legacy characters could appear in Starfleet Academy is the increasing trend of crossovers within the Star Trek franchise. Star Trek, Picard has already set the stage by reintroducing many characters from the next generation, such as Riker, Troy, and Data, in significant roles. There is a growing appetite among fans for the return of these iconic characters, and Starfleet Academy could capitalize on that trend.